Hi, my name's Jason George and welcome to my channel, JG Finance. As you can see, I'm just an ordinary guy in an ordinary van doing an ordinary job. As a keen stock watcher and an avid current affairs consumer, I'm always up to date with the latest news. And so I've decided to take the plunge and invest some money into the stock market and see how it performs. I'm going to be investing £1,000 of my hard earned cash that I've scraped together over a few months into the stock market for a period of three to five years and hopefully expect to see growth of between two to three, maybe five or perhaps even ten times. We shall see. Now please remember, I am not a professional. I don't give advice. This is my own money and I'm investing it into the stock market for my own purposes and I'm reporting on here just for entertainment purposes only. What I won't be doing is going into any detailed uh, analysis. We won't be looking at any charts. We'll generally just be looking at the day's news and see how that's affected the stocks in my portfolio, whether good or bad. The plan is to invest my thousand pounds into high growth companies over the next three to five years and I hopefully see some great returns. So I hope you find these videos both informative, entertaining and educational. And if you do, please hit the subscribe and the like and hopefully I'll see you again. So without wasting any more time, let's take a look at the areas and the companies that I should be investing in over the next three to five years. First of all, e-commerce. I'm very bullish about this market. I expect it to do very well over the next three years as the transition to online shopping has been accelerated through the COVID situation. And I believe these companies are best placed to exploit the uh, explosion in online sales and online consumers. I believe big data analytics will play a big role in the next three to four years as lots and lots of companies need to understand how to analyze their data to target their customers better. Apps and social media have become an essential way of life for most of us over the last decade. So I'm investing in these apps as I believe these will be the next behemoths of the internet according to my children. With the climate change emergency well and truly upon us, I believe renew renewable energy will become the stock to go to over the next five to 10 years. As the Biden administration comes in and our own government insists on being the Saudi Arabia of wind, I believe these stocks have a long way to grow. I believe the shift to online education due to the COVID emergency is a trend that I think will be here to stay. Therefore, I'm investing in these stocks. The transition to electric vehicles from the combustion engine is growing and will grow even faster over time. I believe over the next decade, we will see a complete turnover from the combustion engine to the electric vehicle. And therefore, these companies, I think, have outstanding growth potential, not just the car makers, but also the infrastructure. These companies aim to disrupt their respective industries through technology and I believe they will do it and that's why I'm investing in them. Delays in the building of the infrastructure for 5G due to Covid has set this industry back a little bit but I believe we're on the cusp of a 5G revolution and therefore these stocks I believe are really going to shine over the next three to five years as we fully right, realise the potential of 5G and 5G infrastructure. Whilst I'm not big into the pharma world, I believe that these two companies, having taken some advice, will do really well over the medium term, three to five years. The banking sector has taken a real battering due to the COVID emergency, but I believe these banks will come out of it even stronger than ever. Therefore, I'm in. With the vaccine in sight and due to be rolled out over the next 18 months, I believe the economy in both the US and the UK is ready for a roaring recovery. As the world and everything in it continues its move to the cloud, I believe all these cloud services do, will do really well over the medium and long term. FinTech companies are going to become more and more influential as we move to more and more online spending and away from cash in the future. As more and more states decriminalise cannabis, I believe these cannabis stocks are ready to burst and grow really high. 
Like cannabis in the US, the decriminalization of online gambling presents a massive opportunity for these companies to expand over the near to medium term. I believe if there's anything that Americans love more than guns, it's drugs and gambling. So those are all the stocks in my portfolio. Each day we should be taking a closer look at particular segments, areas, companies, looking at performance and hopefully doing a bit more detailed analysis. And I hope you can join me each day as I review how they perform and hopefully you can pick up some tips, and make some money on the way. And so here is the news on the 1st of December 2020 affecting my stock portfolio. Cannabis stocks within my portfolio have risen significantly over the last few days on reports of a vote in Congress later in the week to legalise cannabis. This doesn't necessarily mean that cannabis will all of a sudden be legal in the US, but it does mean it will overcome a significant hurdle on the way to uh, being more accepted. Also in the news today, Bitcoin threatens to hit 20k again. After a week weekend pullback, it sneaked right up towards the limit today before a pullback in the afternoon. So we should be keeping a close eye on that to see when it breaks the magical 20k. So that's it from me today. Please remember this is my first broadcast. So if you do like, please like. And if you want to subscribe and see more, please do. And if you comment, please be gentle. I'm feeling a bit conscious today. So hopefully over time, I'll relax a little bit and we'll have some great fun together as we embark upon a journey over the next three to five years to outperform the market. We'll see how it goes. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Have a good night. And remember, if you're enjoying the content, please hit like and subscribe and I'll see you again tomorrow. Look forward to it.